Welcome to BHC Today. Most of us have heard of the parable of the rich fool from the 12th chapter of Luke. And I'm borrowing portions of a devotional by Dennis Swanberg, the Christian humorist, was with us earlier this month to give us all something to think about. The great preacher Haddon Robinson imagined the man in his wooden wainscoted study looking at blueprints for bigger barns. On the wall were three plaques, Bethlehem Farmer of the Year, A.D. 30, All Judea Farmer of the Year, A.D. 31, and All Israel Farmer of the Year, A.D. 32. Now a man like that needs bigger barns. By the lamplight he squinted at the architect's rendering of magnificent barns. He would tear down barns that caused envy in his neighbors and build still bigger barns. About 8 p.m. there was a knock on the door. He had no appointments, and though the door didn't open, there was a presence that haunted the room. Take my barns. I don't really have to have them, the farmer shouted into the air at an unseen somebody. I have no need of barns, the unseen figure responded. I have come for you. The next morning they found the farmer dead over his barn blueprints. Perhaps the last thing he heard was the word fool. Often missed in this parable are the first words. The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. This man misunderstood the first most basic reality of human life. Everything we have is first a gift. A farmer depends on crops. Crops depend on seeds which no person has ever made. The seed must take root in dirt, another thing no person has ever created. The life of every person inhabiting this planet depends on dirt. When the thin topsoil blows away, no farmer can grow anything. Dirt is a gift. Only God can make dirt. Humans might try to make a small amount by taking other elements and combining them, but we can only combine what is already there. You don't like dirt? Then think of petroleum. No human has ever made a barrel of crude oil. Like dirt, oil is a gift. This was the first and the biggest mistake of the man with the barns. He forgot that the ground yielding plentifully was a gift from God himself. He could build barns, but he could not make seeds. He could plant seeds, but he had to have dirt. Trace any human provision or need to its origin and it reveals something humans cannot make. To breathe, you need air, but you can't make lungs or air. To satisfy thirst, you need water, but you can't make the water you need. We need to understand that everything that sustains our lives is a gift from God. Don't obsess over more of the stuff you already have enough of. I'm reminded of the foolishness of too much stuff almost every time I go to a Sun City estate sale. Wondering why there was so much stuff and what I could possibly need. Let's thank God for dirt and the other stuff he provides without which our lives would not last a minute. As I think back over my life, I see times when God opened doors, walked with me through difficult times, and blessed me in ways I could not have imagined. And he's still here with me. Think about how God has blessed you and continues to bless you and walk with you today, even or perhaps especially through difficult times. And remember to be thankful for the small stuff. May you be especially blessed as you enjoy God's gifts today.